Hey guys, this is Taylor with Taylor Life and it is How To Tuesday. On these episodes, we've covered everything from how to drive in Colorado all the way up to things like how to talk to people. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about something that I've really struggled with for most of my life and I still struggle with till this day. And I know it's something that a lot of you deal with too. And that's how to accept help. Sometimes, and especially when we need it the most, people are offering to help us and we are reluctant to accept it at almost any cost. I wanted to dig down to the root, to the cause of why it is that when people offer us help and we need it the most, we're least likely to accept it. Why is it that we don't want to accept help? Why is it that when people are offering and willing to be there for us that we seem to reject it, especially when we need it the most? And for me, it came down to a couple things, and the first is that it's deeply personal. Chances are, if you need help, everything isn't neat and tidy. Chances are that things are kind of messed up. Chances are that you're going to have to let someone into your life, and it's a deeply personal thing. You're going to have to expose weaknesses, something that you need help with. And not only that, because you're at a weak point, you open yourself up to criticism. It can be super scary to accept help because you have to let someone in in the first place. You might not be prepared to offer the help back or fear of repayment. I see this all the time. When people offer their help to me, I know that I'm going to have to do something to give it back or I'm afraid that I won't be able to give it back. Whether it's time or distance or money, all these people are going out of their way to help me and I feel guilt or remorse. Like, what am I going to do to repay it back? And that can be super terrifying and another reason that we don't accept help. When people offer help, maybe sometimes we see it as inconvenient. Maybe it's not at the time that we want or the way that we want, or we see it as maybe hurting us more than helping us. And that leads me to my first point, something that my dad has always stressed to me. You always accept help when it's offered in the way that it's offered. A great example of this was this last weekend. My dad and my brother and I had a plan to go out and get a drink all together and spend some time together. My dad had to get a shed off of his property and when he had a friend of his offer time and energy and his truck and trailer most importantly on a Saturday when we had planned to go out. We dropped everything and accepted the help when it was offered because that guy was going out of his way to come and help us. It's a great example of why you should just accept help when it's offered. It's not when it's convenient for you. It's not when it's best for you. People are sticking their neck out to get into your space and help you. And sometimes it's easier to offer help than to receive it because you know that you're doing something for someone versus exposing your weakness. But you know what? When people are willing to be there for you, it doesn't matter if it's inconvenient to you. Drop what you're doing and say thank you. Be appreciative of those people being able to insert themselves into your life and give you help at a time when they can do it for you. Prepare yourself to help someone else. You need to do your part by being ready to help someone else when it's your turn before you receive help. This can be super scary, right? Because we're always afraid that whatever we're going to have to do, repay it. You know what? They're sticking their neck out for you and you need to be the kind of person that needs to stand up and say, you know what? If they're helping me, I am now prepared when they ask for my help that I will step up and do my part. It takes off some of the anxiety and some of the pressure because you know that you're willing and ready to help that person and thankful that they're there to help you. Let go of your pride by exposing your weakness and exposing your problems and exposing your mess and accepting help and letting that personal connection come in, two things are going to happen and it's going to transform your life. Number one, you're going to have someone there that understands your problem, that sees your mess, that hears your story. And number two, you no longer have to hide anything. It's out there. There's nothing left to hide. Your problem's exposed. And the last thing is that there's someone there beside you willing to offer their help and they understand and are capable and willing and ready to be there for you. You now have an ally. So guys, maybe those are some reasons that it's scary to accept help. Maybe those are some reasons that you avoid accepting help. But that's what this world is about, is that human connection, being there for others and others being there for you. Make those personal connections. Don't be afraid. When someone's out there and they offer you help or they offer you advice or they offer you time, accept it and be willing to repay it. I know this has made a huge difference in my life and I hope that this video helps you. It makes a difference in your life and the next time someone offers you help, I hope you're ready to accept it where it is. You prepare yourself to be ready to help them in return and you're able to let go of the control of the situation and expose your weakness and make a personal connection with someone else. Thank you guys for watching all my videos. Don't forget that for the rest of this month, each time that you go to my channel and if you subscribe, comment on my videos on YouTube, or if you share any of my videos on Facebook, you'll be entered into a drawing to win one of three handmade Colorado palette art designed picture holders. Thank you guys so much for all of your time. I'm really looking forward to making more connections with you guys in the future. Have an awesome day and we'll see you guys tomorrow for Wealth Wednesday.